Oh YouTube fans, obviously you can hear me because some noisy fuckers got a lawnmower thing on, but obviously you can hear me. They got a day off so I figure why not do a few fids. And this one is sold one of my box sets, I've not done this for a while and I've never really sold my DVDs that much, but why not? Now you may or may not know this, I used to be a Doctor Who fan. Used to be, back in the days when Doctor Who was worth a fuck, I used to be a Doctor Who fan. Tie this one for size, John Baker's very last stories and Peter Davison's making an appearance and the first time you got to see the second actor to play the master, that's like the second actor. Now you already know the first ever actor to play the master in Doctor Who, that was in John Pertie's era, sadly passed away, horrible car accident, you, if you want to look it up just look up the history of the first actor to play the master in Doctor Who. However, in the early 80s, they decided to bring back the master. This is when this actor took the role, who is also sadly no longer with us. It's not a bad one, this. The first one is to do with the teaming. Now, the teaming, right, for people who may or may not know this, it's like a good one. A different actor that played the master, so you could say you had three actors who played the master, unless you wanted to do one with John Baker in one of his other ones, called The Deadly Assassin. We also had the master in that. The only thing with these DVDs are they're a pain in the ass to get out. They really are a pain in the ass. So the box set's not that dead. I'm trying to get it out and have the mobile at the same time. So I'll just saw it like this. So the first one is the Cheeman, right? It's when a man has not long left the soul. So you've got Lung Eckrit and John Baker. And they go into this wonderful planet and it's nice and it's peaceful and it's beautiful. You've got this weird ornament, I would sew it if I can get the fucking DVD out, but it's been a fucking swap. Try it again, bear with me. Try it again. Just bear with me one moment, people, and see if I can get this fucking thing out. Come on, you fucker. Hooray, we got it out. So, this is the one, man. Right? You've got this weird little ornament here, right? And it's sort of like this. You've got these dirty tins are there. He falls in love with it and it comes alive and you find out halfway through the film it's the master. But you could say the master's already in this, the second actor. Believe it or not, he made a good die in this and he was called the Tea Man, right? And he was helping the Doctor out in this episode, right? With the late John Baker. Say late, the last ones he did, let's say, he was getting on at this point. And, uh, and he was getting sick of doing the episodes. So in this one, I say his acting's a little bit off, but he's still doing a good job. But the, the team man, the, you do get the team man in it and it shows how he becomes, if I can show it again, it shows you how he becomes him, the master. It's not a bad one, but yeah, it's good to see how he became the master. Then we get the very last one of John Baker. This is the last story he ever did. I felt the ending sort of been a bit more of a better ending. It's his own like bits of his, his stories, his adventures, because all said and done, John Baker came into it in the early 1970s and he left it in the early 80s. You know, he left it in what, 1981? So I felt this have done a bit more there. But it was when half ended, the evil enemy, the master, makes his first appearance. Again, you get a lot of features, you get a lot if you're around in that era. You get original TV spots and things. It definitely brings a lot of memory lane back to you. And um, you get it all. So you get the master here. You get that Aussie axis. And it's kind of sad. It's how John Baker leaves it. The acting's a bit funny where he falls. And it's all done on set. But he does do an epic scene where he says his lines and he's dying. And that's when Peter Davison takes the role from John Baker. So it's nice sad to see Tom Pick say goodbye. You do see the tall man in it, who we all know, who you see him there, becomes Peter Davison. But at the same time, as we all know, did all teach his day and small, and was also in It's Like It's Tied to the Charity. Paid a scene where he paid a pig, same there. Then we go into 1982, when Peter Davison makes his first appearance as Doctor Who. Again, that's the master in it. I kind of like this one, the acting and the things in part two is a little bit overacting. We're in a benevolent universe, oh no! And I felt the acting there was a bit over the top. You know, had it been John Baker, it would have been more competent acting. But again, Peter Davison still does a good role. He was considered the long, longest 
actor to be Doctor Who into um, a couple of years later after David Tennant, the next actor to take his role, would be have been the longest actor. At the time, he was the longest actor. He was like, I think it was in his late 10s, Peter Davison at the time. But like Peter Davison, you know, he had, he had the same name as me, Peter. And it was depressing to see someone that had the same name as me take the role. I like the way it's done all on set. It looks like a labyrinth. Reminds me a bit of the film, Labyrinth Facts, are It's beautifully done. There's some beautiful scenes in it. You can definitely tell that Peter Davison was definitely was an 80s doctor. You can definitely tell at that era it was now getting into the 1980s, the very early 1980s. And it's a dud one. You see the master again. So it's a dud one again, come out in 1982. So it's not a bad box set, you get a lot of special features, a lot of biographies, a lot of the actors talking. Uh, you do get bits behind the scene, you do get the idea that John Baker, even though he's considered to be the best one, was a fucker to work with. Definitely was a fucker to work with. Even the actor that played Edwick said that the last ones he did, he was a fucker to work with. But it's kind of sad to see Tom Baker say his bye-byes, but interesting to see Peter Davison prize his role. Sad to say he passed away. When he did a special feature on this, you see one last bit of footage of him saying bye to us, the audience, as we all know. He also sadly passed away. But it's good to see, it's like all to do with the master, well, the second actor, even though you're going to choose the one in Deadly Assassin. You could choose the one in the T-Man, because he sort of comes into it as a different actor. So it's an hard one to say, is, is, it the, is it the second master? I'm going to say the fourth, if you really think about it. But he does have a sight look of the original one who played the master. It's a bot set I got a couple of days ago now. Reasonable price. I think it was only about, what was it now? What was it? I think it was only a tenner when I bought it. <laughs> only a tenner. Not bad. But yeah, that's Don Baker. Not a bad box set. The only, the only issue is it's a fucker to get the DVDs out. That's why I had to hold it down a bit. But the box is totally done, but beautifully patted. Very beautiful patted. Again, you get a lot of features. You get makings. You get it all. So it's not a bad one. Peter Davison's first defensor. John Baker saying bye-bye. Find him again. Another John Baker's. My only issue is, shouldn't they have taken the original art covers of the V8S? That's my only issue. I felt they sort of taped the original art covers of the V8S covers, you know, the ones back in the day. But they're still not bad, and you know, you get a lot of features. It's a bit good to see old TV in that era. I love the early 80s anyway. If there's any bot sets what you've got and what you might like to talk about, let me know and I'll see if I've got it. Well, that was Doctor's bot set with John Baker saying his bye byes and Peter Davidson saying his first appearance into them. Not as long as what I normally do because what is it to it? It's my bot set. Not a bad price for a tenner, you get it all. You've got here, it says. New Medinnings. That's what it says. It says the New Medinnings. And it definitely is the New Medinnings. You know, you get it all. You get this. You get these features. You get all three episodes all in one as a bot set. As a bot set. You know, you start to feel sad for John Peter to say his buys, but he was the long he's ever acted to play Doctor Who. You know, he's, like I say, he came into it in 1974 to 1981. Then you get Peter Davison, makes his appearance. And it's a dud You know, these are Doctor Who's I like. I'm more into the old ones than what I am of the new ones. But again, without repeating myself, if there's any bot sets you want me to talk about, let me know and I'll see if I've got them. I've got a lot of bot sets. I've got a lot of DVDs. These are Doctor Who I used to love back in the golden days. I love the way it opened up in that era. Into them. Be smart. Be safe. And I'll see you soon for some more stuff on the way.